Let's get some common sense about inheritance. Receiving an inheritance often comes with mixed emotions. Sure, the windfall of money, real estate, or other assets is a welcome bonus, but it also means that a special someone is no longer in your life. Here with what to expect in this situation, along with tips on how not to lose what your loved one has worked so hard for is Craig Bolano, CEO and founder of Wealth Management Group. Craig, it's not uncommon to see people immediately burn through their inheritance or lose it to bad investments. What can you tell us? Absolutely. When it comes to inheritances, it's full of the emotional dynamics, that intersection of money. And I think it's so important that everybody follow tip number one, which is just to take a pause and breathe. You know, if you're charged with helping to settle an estate, you know, you don't want to rush in all those settlement decisions. I'm talking about the house, the retirement accounts, the investments, the vehicles, the bank accounts. Give yourself some pause, give some breathing room, some grieving room, and just understand that this is going to take time. So if you were making plans for what you were going to do and how to spend your immediate windfall, temper those plans as some estates can and oftentimes do take months to settle. Remember, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Tip number two, develop a plan for the money. Receiving an inheritance can sometimes feel like found money. And as a result, some people don't place the same importance on found money as say those dollars they have in their bank account from work. So that doesn't mean you shouldn't treat yourself, you shouldn't splurge a little, but inheritances, they oftentimes only come around once. And as a result of that, you don't wanna squander the opportunity. Think debt reduction, emergency funds, needed home improvements, and of course, retirement. You got to secure not just today, you have to secure your tomorrow. And once you've handled the basics, now you can talk about that bass boat or the European vacation. Are there any rules of thumb when it comes to inheritance? Well, the good news is I've got two tips left. The first is seek professional advice. The rules on inheriting money can be nuanced. I mean, there's times that people receive step up in bases. There's times that most certainly they do not. Inheriting retirement accounts, well, that's associated with a whole set of rules, new rules, that is, courtesy of the SECURE Act. And don't overlook the fact that the IRS or state and local governments may ask for their share depending on the estate inheritance or death tax laws where the decedent passed away. So the bottom line is you got to get professional advice. That's the key to tax mitigation and all the more reason as to why people should pause, seek guidance prior to making big plans for taking receipt of those inherited dollars. And last on our list, number four, review your own estate plan. If you're receiving an inheritance, settling an estate, then you're inundated with discussions over executorship, trusteeship, small estate affidavits, probate, non-probate, and after all this stuff, you really might want to make sure your own affairs are handled accordingly. And of course, that dovetails into maybe your inherited dollars, you shouldn't commingle with your spouse or partner. Maybe there's a reason tax-wise you might want to disclaim some of the money you're receiving and shoot it directly to your your kids. There's a lot of consideration here. Bottom line, if you're inheriting money, use as an opportunity not just to seek professional guidance on the dollars, but to seek guidance on your own estate plan. I'm Craig Bolanos, the CEO and founder of Wealth Management Group. If you'd like to learn more, you can. Check out our website, investwithwmg.com. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.